Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is Sir Desmond Swain, a Brexiteer. So as we know this week there is a shortage of certain fruit and vegetable in Great Britain and I say Great Britain and not the United Kingdom as Northern Ireland it seems has avoided this problem. I wonder why. Anyway, back to Sir Desmond. He engaged in a straw man. Now a straw man is a fallacy where you create the illusion of having defeated someone else's argument or position on a particular topic when in reality you have replaced that position or argument with a false one, which you then refute. An example of a straw man could be something like, MP Smith says that the nation should not add to the defence budget, MP Jones says that he cannot believe that MP Smith wants to leave the nation defenceless. So let's get to Sir Desmond on Brexit. So that we can try and get over this and try and avoid similar situations in the future even if we cannot control the weather, it is important that we try and make sure we, the supply continues to not be frustrated in quite the way it has been due to these unusual weather incidents. Sir Desmond Swain. If only I had been told before I voted for Brexit that it was going to cause frosts in Morocco, I could have made a different decision, couldn't I? <sighs> okay, so what is he up to here? He's trying to say that Ramoners are blaming Frost on Brexit. Of course, nobody's blaming Frost on Brexit, but of course, this is tapping into the hard Brexiteer way of thinking that remain that Remainers are looking for problems and looking to blame all of this on Brexit. When in reality, this is <laughs> a, a problem with Brexit, but not about Frost. It's about supply chains. We've seen, and I posted pictures online myself, of there is no shortage of tomatoes, for example, in, in Europe. There, and it seems there isn't a shortage of tomatoes even in Northern Ireland. Now, as I said before, wh why is Northern Ireland um, not experiencing these, these problems? Because Northern Ireland has access to the single market. Northern Ireland is part of the single market when it comes to goods. So it's able to, if it has a shortage, it can rely on supplies from the Republic of Ireland, for example. Great Britain doesn't have that benefit. Um, we've seen how European suppliers, if there's a shortage, they will distribute among themselves and the UK will be left out because the UK, sorry, Great Britain will be left out because Great Britain is outside the single market. The paperwork, the cost related to that is too much for some companies. So when there is a weather event, um, the UK, Great Britain, I keep saying the UK, I should say Great Britain, Great Britain is going to suffer more than other parts of Europe. It's a matter of fact. It's a consequence of being outside the single market. But of course, Brexiteers will try and f find the, the source of the problem here, which of course is the frost or the, a, a weather event in Morocco. And say, okay, the Ramoners are. So the argument is no longer Brexit is a good idea. We've moved on from that. They can't say that Brexit is a good idea anymore. It's all now about trying to engage in straw men or straw mans, whatever the, the, the correct grammar is. It's about creating a situation where we're no longer arguing whether Brexit is a good idea or not, because Brexiteers can't defend Brexit anymore because there's nothing to defend it with. It's a disaster. But they're no longer defending Brexit, they're attacking people who are attacking Brexit. That's the stage we're at. You know, the sunlit uplands are completely forgotten, have been completely forgotten, because there are no sunlit uplands. So now we're at the stage where defenders of Brexit are no longer defending Brexit, they're attacking using straw men they're attacking people who are attacking Brexit and pointing out the f fallacy of Brexit, pointing out how it is a disaster. So they're not actually responding to the, the criticism of Brexit, they're creating their own criticism and attacking that. It's pathetic. And so Desmond Swain is our Fool of the Week. See you next time for our next Fool of the Week.